Good morning, morning SHS, SHS, and welcome, welcome back. back. My name is Blake Keaton. I'm Ella Troop. And I'm Ella Hawkins. And will everybody please rise for a moment of silence. And now Blake will lead us in the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. All right, to start us off this morning, you are not gonna wanna forget that this coming weekend is a three day weekend. Yes. We have Monday off for this three day weekend, so make sure you come to school on Friday because you are not gonna wanna miss the pep rally that the cheerleaders and the other people, I'm not too sure who, but whoever's planning it has been working very hard for our first pep rally of the year on Friday. So we will be, of course, on that pep rally bell schedule. And temperatures will hover in the low 90s this week with the possibility, again, of large amounts of much needed rain through next week. Yesterday, we experienced quite a bit of rain, even a little bit of a fun power outage during third period. So that was, Definitely something. Okay, we're open for lots of rain and lots of iron in your blood. If you want to be a blood donor on September 8th, um, you can talk to Miss Lemos in the library for more information and you can sign up to get your name on the list. I don't know why that was so iron. hard to say for you. <laughs> That's but iron yes. to um, and you only have to be 17 to donate. So all seniors, you are eligible to donate. Go get that red cord. Also, Student Council is hosting class meetings this week during advisory in the cafeteria. I believe I may have misspoken yesterday and said auditorium, but you all joined us in the cafeteria, so it worked out. We are currently taking self-nominations for the class officers and we'll have all candidates introduce themselves and campaign for themselves during their class meeting. So if you're a freshman, hopefully you are not watching the announcements during your advisory period because you should be in the cafeteria. And tomorrow we will have juniors, Friday we'll have seniors, and of course we're going to call for the class when we are ready. So you need to go to your advisory teacher first. Yeah, we are going to have some amazing class officers, but we also have some amazing debate students here at SHS. Are you bragging um, about yourself? No, I'm talking about Alex Camacho and Jacob Gonzalez, who got third place in policy debate or cross-examination debate um, to set up for UIL state debate. Uh, and that was, again, Alex Camacho and Jacob Gonzalez, who are seniors here at SHS, at the recent London Texas Forensics Association tournament. What about you? Yeah, Mr. You, Taylor you skipped over something. Some great things. You want to brag about yourself real um, quick? I got third in congressional debate. Wow. And you earned a quarter of your points. Yep, I got three points. For I need 12. Not really too sure how that works, yeah, but... Congratulate all of them regardless. Good job. Thank you. All right. Well, on another note, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, or FCA, holds weekly meetings each Friday morning at 7.30 in Coach Lauding's classroom. Everybody is welcome. It's not just for the athletes. And FCA is selling dry fit t-shirts. Um, you can pick them up, pick up order forms in Coach Lauding's classroom. It is cash only, and they are due September 6th. To coach all day. And for the sports, Sinton hosts JV and freshman tournament Thursday and Saturday, and varsity hosts Santa Catrudis on Friday at 4.30. Be there, support our Lady Pirates. And our cross country runners at Robin Bessie Water Park Saturday morning. And for football, JV travels to Rockport Thursday, September 1st, with a game at 7 p.m., while our varsity Pirates host their first home game. Friday at 7.30. Be there. Yeah, it's we are good. very excited to see all of our football players participate in this week's game, but we're also super excited to see all of y'all participate in our dress-up days. September 2nd, which is this Friday, is going to be Dreaming of Victory, Pajama Day. September 9th will be Throwback the Sand Crabs, Decades Day. September 16th, the Pirates are Super, Marvel versus DC. September 23rd, Outshine the Bears, Neon Day, <laughs> September 30th, Homecoming, Maroon Out. Uh, October 14th is Pink Out, and October 28th is To Victory and Beyond, Disney Day. I love Disney, and I also love looking good, and I expect all of y'all to look good for Senior Portraits, <laughs> which is going to be September 31st. No, it's nope. going to be August 31st. Today. Today. 
Yes. And September 1st. Tomorrow. Um, please make sure that your name is listed. You should, you should already know. Um, check any of the things. Make sure that you get your picture taken. If your picture day is tomorrow, make sure you do any last minute things you need to yeah. do. I forgot I had to get my nails done. Boys, shave. Make sure you're wearing an undershirt you don't mind being seen in. Girls, nair, nails. <laughs> there. There. Yeah, that's, <laughs> not there. Not there. I mean, if you want. Uh, just yeah. however you want to be remembered. Yeah. <laughs> um, you might need there for your fall portraits too. <laughs> That's going to be September 6th. Um, please make sure to take your picture even if you don't want it. Reason for yearbooks and student IDs. You'll be required to wear your student ID daily. Student IDs are useful for obtaining a job, driver's license, and student discounts, which many places offer them if you do provide it. Bob's and TV voting, er, Bob's and TV pictures <laughs> is going to be October 19th and senior retakes are going to be October 18th. And speaking a little bit of Nair, all young men need to be clean shaven for both of these portraits, for senior <laughs> portraits and in the yearbook, or we cannot use yeah. them. So if you want to make sure that you're in the yearbook, make use sure you're clean shaven. Um. Use a razor. Or whatever. Yeah. You do you. <laughs> Just be shaven. Anyways, moving on to today's trivia. Blake. <laughs> What does it mean if a fence post is painted purple? I like purple. Me too. That's not the question. Well, I don't have the answer. Will you tell us? It means no trespassing. All okay. right. Anyways, many of you know we have been conducting polls. And our poll was rainy days or sunny days. What did y'all put? Rainy. I said rainy. Me as well. Well, the results were 39 for rainy days and 5 for sunny. So, so it many is a people, consensus that Many people enjoy. will be enjoying this week. Yes. However, if it said sunny days versus cold days, I would say sunny. I like the cold one. I, I would days. also say sunny. Uh, I don't know. To each their own. And you never know. South Texas weather can change like that. Senior class, we're about to make it rain for my speech on Friday. As always, we will end things off with the thought of the day. Today's thought comes from Alexander the Great. Who was it, Alexander the Great? I haven't said the... the well, I want to know who Alexander the Great was. Okay, we'll tell... We'll, we'll change it up a little bit okay. today. Alexander the Great was an ancient Macedonian ruler and one of history's greatest military minds who, as king of Macedonia and Persia, established the largest empire the ancient world had ever seen. By turns charismatic and ruthless, brilliant and power hungry, diplomatic and bloodthirsty, Alexander inspired such loyalty in his men, they'd follow him anywhere and, if necessary, die in the process. Though Alexander the Great died before realizing his dream of uniting a new realm, his influence on Greek and Asian culture was so profound that it inspired a new historical epoch, the Hellenistic period. He was taught by Aristotle, but had famous run-ins with other philosophers. Now, what did Alexander the Great say? I still have more. You know, I know this. Shout out Mr. Hamilton. In 15 years of conquest, hey. in 15 years of conquest, Alexander never lost a battle. He also reportedly had heterochromia, meaning he had two different colored eyes. One was brown and the other was blue. His hair was also probably strawberry blonde or lion colored when the typical Macedonian has dark hair and dark eyes. So he now, what did Alexander the Great say? He was regarded as great in all aspects of his life, hence the name and... His quote today is, there is nothing impossible to him who will try. Like, Ella, would you care to expand? <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of like whatever, <laughs> it's kind of like what everybody else says, um, all the other famous people. There's no, or you're always going to fail if you never try. So keep on trying. If you don't think you can get there, think again. Got this. You miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Also, don't listen. I think that's what he was trying to you say. I think you can't do it. Remember, Pitbull has been there, done that. This is for everybody going through tough times. Believe me, I've been there, done that. But every day above ground is a great day. Remember that. Straight up, bro. Okay, so a little bonus quote today. Um, as always, don't forget to follow us on Twitter and YouTube. Not only do we post the announcements. Like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Smash that like button. 
Yeah. As always, we hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday. We hope to see you all back tomorrow. And go Pirates. Go Pirates. Oh, oh my goodness.